And now it's time to take a look at the latest Marvel movie that is in cinemas. Now, uh, this one is a little bit different, though. This is the the Sony Marvel Universe. So we're talking about the, the Spider-Man Universe, of course, which we also have seen Venom and Morbius brought into. And uh, this time around, the character that we're being introduced to is... Cassandra Webb, who becomes Madam Webb, played by Dakota Johnson. Now, a little bit of an interesting uh, thing with this film. A lot of people are going to ask the question straight out. Does Spider-Man appear in this movie? Um, is it Tobey Maguire? Is it Andrew Garfield? Is it Tom Holland? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's none of them. And technically, Spider-Man does appear in this movie, in the sense that Peter Parker is there, kind of. So let's give us a little bit of a backstory for this film. So the film starts with um, Cassandra's mother um, in Peru, uh, searching for these spiders that have the ability to heal people by giving them superpowers, in a sense. Now, she has a companion with her, Ezekiel Sims, played by Tahar Rahim, and when she finds the spider, she's pregnant at the time, I should point out as well, he shoots her and takes the spider. Now, she is rescued by a tribesman of these mythical spider people. Um, they allow her to give birth, and then she passes away, but as she does so... Um, Santiago, played by Jose Maria Yazpik, promises her that if her daughter should ever come looking for answers in Peru, he will provide them to her. Flash forward about 20, 21 years in 2003, and Cassandra, played by Dakota Johnson, as I mentioned, is working as a paramedic um, alongside um, her best friend, Ben Parker, played by Adam Scott. Take note of that name, Ben Parker. We'll come back to that later. So, uh, she's working as a paramedic alongside Ben Parker, and suddenly one day an accident occurs where she drowns and Ben brings her back from the dead. Now, after she has that accident, she starts realizing that she's seeing premonitions. Um, she's seeing things that are about to happen or are going to happen in the future. Now, those premonitions soon end up with her, um, coming face-to-face -face with three teenagers. Julia Cornwall, played by Sydney Sweeney. Um, Anya Corazan, played by Isabella Merced. And Maddie Franklin, played by Celeste O'Connor. Now, in um, Cassandra's premonition, she sees Ezekiel killing these three girls, and she decides to try and work out what exactly is going on. Now... I mentioned before the character name Ben Parker. Yes, that is Uncle Ben, Peter Parker's uncle who looks after him. Throughout this film, we learn about Ben Parker going on a date with a woman that we can assume is Aunt May. At the same time, we meet his sister Mary Parker, played by Emma Roberts, who is pregnant with a baby, which we can safely assume is Peter Parker. So technically... Peter Parker is actually there. There's some great nods um, from the director and the screenwriters as well in this film of um, of what Ben Parker's role is going to be in that baby's life as well, but uh, that doesn't come into fruition in this film. Now, this is an interesting film because I really get the feeling that if you're a hardcore Spider-Man Marvel Universe fan, you will really like Madam Web. If you're a casual cinema goer, you probably will not get as much out of this film. There have been people out there who have actually gone and seen this and not even picked up on that whole Ben, Mary Parker, Peter Parker um, thing. So, yeah, if you're a casual cinema goer, you probably won't get as much out of this film. Now, it is directed by um, S.J. Clarkson. Now, this is where my issue comes in with this film. Um... I'll start off by saying I did enjoy the film, but I do have some issues. S.J. Clarkson, this is her first feature film. She's a television director. That is important because this film feels like it is a television episode. This feels like it is the, 
the pilot of a brand new Marvel television show. This film has all of the stuff in the screenplay to provide drama, suspense, big action set pieces, but they never happen. The big action set piece in this film is something that you would see in a Marvel television show, and it's toned back completely um, like they do in a television series when they're trying to save money. If they wanted this film to really work, they needed to do some big action pieces that really made the audience feel the suspense of what is happening. And it's such a shame because the characters of Cassandra, Julia, Anya and Maddie are interesting characters and the screenplay allows these four women to bring in some marvellous performances to their characters and the characters are interesting enough that you want to watch them grow. Um, that's the thing that I've been most excited about with this film is knowing that we're going to get to watch these um, characters grow on screen um, over the next few years. But the the action set pieces are just not there. It feels like you're watching a television show, um, which is not why you go to the cinema. You want something big and special on from a movie like this on the big screen. So it is going to divide people. Like, I didn't walk out of this disappointed, but I know that people are going to walk out disappointed because they don't have those big action pieces with stunts and things like that. I, I found it an interesting look at these four characters that hopefully we get to see more of on the screen but but that was it for me i thought dakota johnson was fantastic in this film i think she does an amazing job of madam webb and that's going to be interesting to watch that come along the the, the whole thing i talked about before too with the whole spider-man storyline it does trip itself up a little bit because we see an article here where the daily bugle is reporting on what is happening so it's pretty safe to assume that Julia, Anya, and Maddie are going to become the first Spider Women. Now, if there were Spider Women and the Daily Bugle was kind of over that story, then why was Jamison so surprised when Spider Man shows up later on? And they can't even say it's a universe thing because Jamison's response to Spider Man is pretty much the same in all three Spider Man universes that we've got going at the moment. So. The film does trip itself up, but I did find the way that it includes the Parker family very, very interesting, and Dakota Johnson does a good enough job for me to want to see where this ends up. So I am going to give this one two and a half out of five. You probably really only want to go and see it if you're a hardcore Marvel fan or a hardcore Spider-Man fan, though, But because uh, it doesn't really offer much else to anybody else. So, look, I'm going to give it two and a half out of five. It is enjoyable. Um, just don't expect it to be the, the great, big, um, gigantic action film that you would have got from a film like Avengers. This is not Marvel of 10, 15 years ago. So, uh, go along and check out Madam Web. It is an okay film. I'm giving it two and a half out of five. It does have a general release, so it should be showing in a cinema near you.